Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to import mp4 video with audio um, into audacity um, so that you can extract the audio from the video and then do your editing in audacity and then save it to um, your desired extension. So first you want to do is open audacity and then you want to go click click on edit preferences and then you want to go to libraries once you go there you will see ffmpeg import or export library um, you want to go ahead and click on download once you download it's going to take you to a website and depends what you have if you have windows mac or linux in my case i'm using windows so i'm going to click on see the ffmpeg installation section okay in my case i'm going to go there once i go there it has a lot of instructions uh, but all you have to go go to is the download page here so it says installing the ffmpeg import or export library on windows it says go to the external download page so i'm going to go here once i click there it's going to take me to another site there i get to i have options to download a lot of things so what i need is this um i only need fff ffmpeg nothing else so it's recommending to download this so i'm going to click on this and download so after you install FFmpeg in your in your hard drive, you're going to go back to Audacity and and click on locate. Once you click on locate, it says, "Do you still want to locate them manually?" Audacity has automatically detected valid FFmpeg libraries. Uh, if it doesn't mean automatically detects it, you have to. Um, you have to manually locate it locate the file so you click on and click on yes then you're going to locate the folder where you installed ffmpeg library it's ffmpeg for audacity and this is the file it it is using av av, AV format hyphen five five dot dl this should be automatically um get detected uh, so what you have to do is like after you install ffmpeg um, all you have to restart audacity and it should automatically detect that in case if it doesn't detect automatically so this is what you have to do uh, you have to click on locate then you're gonna browse to the location where you installed so this is the root folder where the ffmpg was installed and then there should be it and this is the file name uh, it's using um, since I already have that, so I'm gonna go cancel it. As you see, it's there, it's showing there if library version uh, 55.33.100. Uh, so after you locate that and it shows the version number here, that means uh, it, it uh, it's working. And go ahead and click on OK. Now we're gonna test that it's, it's you can import MP4 files and do your editing. So in my case, I have a video sample. Let's see if I go open and then i go to so this is the mp4 uh, this is the mp4 file um if i show you again um this is mp4 as you see the extension is mp4 so this is a video and audio um and then let's say click on open and that see this window is a select stream to import um my video has two tracks one track is for my microphone and the second track is for my uh, speaker audio um i i want to save them into two different tracks so that i can you know edit them separately and also i can add voiceover if i want to uh, so i'm going to select both of them and click ok and it's importing there you go i have two tracks um, so this is the two tracks one is from the speaker audio one is voiceover and now you can do editing you can do normal normalization you can do noise reduction 
uh, whatever you want to do and then you can go ahead export audio both of them or you can export selected audio if you want to do individual and if you want to go ahead and export audio you can uh, export it to wave format uh, if you want to uh, use it with hit film express uh, you can also do it with mp3 ac3 if you want to do it for if you want to export to mp3 you have to uh, install another library uh, so that you could do that i will show you how to do that in in a different tutorial video uh, so let's go ahead and try and I want to do wave sign 16 bit PCM uh, mic testing wave 16 bit PCM save and it checks will be mixed down to two stereo channels in the exported file okay and then you can add meta tag artist name track title album title you know if this is so I'm just going to pass that and con click on okay and that's it it's there now you can go to your um, and you see it's there mic testing mic testing one two three four one two three four mic testing so that's how you do it if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section below if you want more tutorials videos please subscribe and if you like the video, please don't forget to press the thumbs up button to show your support. Thank you.